So I know of at least two people who have died from hoof trimming incidents and I know of many, many more who have had serious incidents when they're working with cattle. In Scotland alone last year, bear in mind Scotland's smaller than probably most states in America, there were 14 deaths on farms, most of which were related to working with cattle. Here are some of the injuries I've gained in my career working with cows. And stick around to the end of the video to see how I really, really made good use, in my opinion, of my broken nose. Might not be in my sister's opinion though. Check out the end of the video and let me know what you think, guys. So first up, broken ribs. I have broken my ribs twice. The first time I broke three of them down the left hand side and I could barely breathe for about two weeks. And every time people made me laugh, it hurt like hell, which made them laugh even more. How did I do it? Well, when you're working with cows in enclosed spaces, cows are extremely heavy and they don't need to be doing anything seriously bad to actually pop a rib. The first time I did it, I was working at a farm with high gates that were seven foot high and I couldn't jump out of the way cows squished me and pop. I literally felt them crack underneath me. The second time a bull came flying back down a race and his arse landed in my chest which broke two ribs on this side and two ribs on this side. All you do is keep them till they're better. Unfortunately it hurts like hell but there's nothing you can do about it. Next up cuts with the grinder. Cuts with the grinder for hoof trimmers are obviously the most um, constant and most persistent injury they get. I've actually only ever caught myself once with the grinder and it was here on the thumb. It hurt like hell and it took about four months to heal because unlike most cuts the flesh was completely removed as you can imagine. So the protruding flesh kept pushing through and the doctor kept having to push it back in which was extremely difficult to do and to get it to heal. Next up I've had a cow kick me in the wrist which ended up in me getting 29 stitches. There you go, it looks like I tried to slash my wrists, but I can assure you, I did not. Next up, burst veins. Believe it or not, burst veins have happened to me twice. Once was in my arm, I burst this vein here. That was when I was trimming a front foot and the back foot came flying forward on my old crush and smack straight into the vein. My arm was black within about 10 seconds. And actually it was one of the most sore things that's ever happened to me. The other time was in my leg, I was squeezing past um, a stanchion, so a big metal post basically, and as I was squeezing past it, a cow kicked my leg. Now I've been kicked loads of times, um, and it hurts a little bit, or it hurts a fair bit, but this time it was agony. Because I was squeezing past the post, my leg had nowhere to give, so the leg took the full force and ended up bursting a vein in the leg. Yes, it hurt. Next up, probably the most dramatic in injury I've had, but actually not the sorest. Actually, before we move on to the next one, I'm going to do a questions and answers video pretty soon. The reason why, I see people doing this all the time and I think they're really boring, but I keep getting these questions in the comments. There are, a lot of them are the same. Um, I do get some random ones and I try to answer them all, but do miss some. So stick your questions in the comments and I promise to answer every single question, no matter how daft, no matter how serious, no matter how in-depth your question is. Look out for that video. It'll be on later in the week and it's the thumbnail of this actual video. So yeah, I broke my nose here and fractured my eye socket all the way around here. It was fairly graphic as you can see from the video, but what happened? Well, I think, <laughs> and I say think, because I don't remember it too well, I was waiting on a block drying on the back foot of a cow, walked around to the front, trimmed her front left, no, her, trimmed her front right foot, and as I went to walk round the front of her, she threw her head up in my face, and it was as if I wasn't even there. The first I knew of it was, I was standing up, laughing at myself, thinking, what on earth have you tripped over, Graham? And then I looked down, and there was blood everywhere, and, and started to remember what might have happened, and the force to my face. I've actually been kicked in the face before, and had, had bleeding gums, but being hit in the head, in the face by a cow's head, there is no comparison. It was like being hit by a train. I actually said to a few people, oh, I was knocked unconscious for a, a couple of minutes. And they all said to me, how, how do you know it was a couple of minutes? But to be honest, I've no idea. It could have been half an hour, it could have been an hour. I've no idea. 
And what did it do? I finished off trimming that cow. It was number 92, I remember her well. Jumped in the pickup and if you watch the end of this video, you will see exactly what I did. I actually put it to very good use. Some of you might say it, some of you might totally disagree. Last up, thought I'd include this, it's not actually, this didn't happen on the farm, but it is the worst injury I've ever had. So I'm quite heavily into mountain biking, um, more so two years ago than now. And I was actually doing some downhill mountain biking when I had a crash and it resulted in this. So as you can see, it was fairly dramatic. I had 73 stitches in my face, um, a broken nose, a broken eye socket, all the flesh was ripped from my jaw. And these photos are actually of me after I've been stitched up. In the photo, there's about 40 stitches at the first um, hospital I went to. They patched me up like this before they sent me to Glasgow Infirmary for a six hour operation, which was great actually because it fixed my nose better than it did the first time when the cow broke it. So yeah, I don't know if I'm accident prone, I don't know if I've got an extremely dangerous job, I don't know what it is. Is it me? Is it the cows? Is it agriculture? Anyway guys, stay safe, make sure there's someone else around about you when you're working with cows, and if there's not, make sure that you are taking every precaution possible to stay safe and out of harm's way. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video, I'm pretty sure my sister didn't. Let me know in the comments what you think. Okay, so I've just had my nose broken in six places and my eye socket broken from uh, one socket to the other by a cow at work. I've uh, been in hospital on my way home and now I'm just on my way to sister's to pretend that it was her father-in-law that did it. Let's see what she says. I've just met your fucking father-in-law up the street. I've just met your father-in-law up Is it broken? Is it broken? Yeah. Cassie, Cassie, Cassie. I'm joking, it was a cow headbutted me, broke my nose in six places, and my eye socket. I've been to the hospital. Fuck. And I just picked that up. Are you alright? And right. a, vi a video tape telling you. What the fuck to do? A video tape telling you. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Out.